Normally people are on faster than this. Here we go. Screen, share screen, live image. Share screen. Stop share. Let me try this again. Five image. Share screen. Okay. All right. Everybody has a pencil, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Why do people care about the wind? That's what your notebook should look like, okay, guys. Why do you think people care about the wind? Alex. Wind can carry energy and be transferred by windmills. What else can wind do? Was it windy last night? Yes. Did it do anything at your house? Yes. What did it do? It rained. It rained too, but what else did the wind do? Uh, it knocks stuff over. It knocks stuff over, so wind can cause damage, can't it? Okay. What about with strong, strong winds? What can it do? It can damage buildings. What else can it do? It can kill trees. It can kill you. Can it, can it do other things other than buildings? It can blow away. It can blow away people. It can also do what else? No way. It can cause hurricanes and tornadoes. And what can happen during hurricanes and tornadoes? Uh, get killed. Bad people can get killed. It can damage buildings. It can do what else? It can damage cars. Has anybody ever been in a car when a car got picked up? Yeah. Kind of scary, isn't it? Yeah. Anybody ever heard of straight line wind? No. Yeah. You have, Michaela? Have you ever, I saw you shaking your hand, head yes. You've heard of straight line winds? You shook your head yes for a minute. You've heard of straight line winds? No? Anybody here ever heard of them? So they can be as powerful as a tornado, but instead of going in a circle, they tend to come in straight lines and they can do a lot of damage. Um, years and years ago, I was taking Adrian when he was like two. To the hospital for therapy and straight line winds came up picked up our car off the ground and dropped us pretty scary i thought we were on the edge of a tornado we were close to the tornado but it was straight line wind right wow. off the tornado. picked up our car and dropped us. So like, pretty scary and there was like hail right there around it, close to tornado yeah. uh, and sometimes anybody look close to southern hills park Okay. So, have you been there lately, like in the past week? Have you noticed the trees over there? A lot of them are laid over on the side. That I think is from straight line winds because you're not in a circle that's laid over. There's like a, a narrow pathway of them that are bent over. That looks like straight line wind damage. Okay, straight line winds will do that. And that's actually where I was. I was right in, on a uh, Burke King's right in front of the park. Okay. Maybe so. mm, can. Can winds make you feel cooler? Yeah. Absolutely. Not the kind that we're talking about with straight line winds necessarily, but but if it's a hot, hot day and you're sweaty and it's windy, it can definitely make you feel cooler, right? Well, it is not hot outside. No, it's not now. Oh. No, like freezing. Class five? Yes. What was the most powerful wind you've ever experienced? Ricardo, what was the most powerful wind you've ever experienced? What is it? You were in a hurricane? Wow. Did you go out and play in the rain? 
No. <laughs> I put my kids in boots and a raincoat and we went out and played in the tropical storm that was left behind from a hurricane. Because you know, down south, they actually get hurricanes. But most of the time when it comes up here, it's just a storm when it comes to us, right? So when our boys were little, I put them in raincoats and boots and we went out and played in the rain. Because <laughs> we don't generally have hurricanes in North Louisiana, y'all. We don't do it. And we don't get too many tornadoes. Yeah, we don't. We do get tropical storms. We yes. get storms. Yeah. So that's why I asked if you went out and played in it because we, we did. Because <laughs> we don't really get the hurricanes here, do we? We, might have it here. we get storms. Um, what about Aaliyah? What is the strongest wind you've ever experienced? Down a tree. Was it kind of scary? It's gonna roof too. So it's like a big old mess, wasn't it? Okay. What is some of the weakest wind you've ever experienced? What is some of the weakest wind? Timber. A water spout. What's that? Like a tornado over water. So, like if you're around the Gulf, you might see it. Gulf Mexico, you might see a water spout when you're driving over. Regular wind. Regular wind. What about a ceiling fan? Yeah. Okay. Small fan. Uh huh. Definitely. I sure hope my batteries are good because my husband forgot to give me batteries last night. And we're going to need a fan in a little bit because our experiment where it says construct mini windmills, we're supposed to blow on them to make them move, but there's no blowing on anything. Yeah. Here. COVID. So, Flu, get, uh, so I have a fan to test these things out, but I was supposed to bring batteries for it and dear husband forgot to <laughs> And I forgot to cut batteries. No, you can't. We're not blowing on. If you want someone to blow, I'll blow. No. Nah. No. Nah. Okay. So we're going to look, Nikki. Now. We're going to look at two pictures. And they're done by the same person. He painted both of them. Okay. They do. They're made a long time ago. This one was painted in 1917. This one he made in 1907 to 1908 by a man named Piet Mondrian. So we're going to learn about that all during this unit. So, what is this? A windmill. Okay. We're going to be exploring, you know, we always talk about phenomenon questions. We're going to be exploring the question, how do windmills harness the wind? So harness means to take, gather, and use. Yes. So you can harness electricity. In other words, you kind of take control of. So how do windmills harness the wind? So they're taking, gathering, and using wind. So take it and like and control it. They're controlling it. We're gonna find out what they use it for. Okay. So harness is a verb. They're using it. They're using the wind. They're controlling the wind, okay? These pictures are now over 100 years old. This one from 1917, this one from 1908, okay? We're going to make a notice and wonder chart. Um, you 
you remember how to make notice and wonders. Notice is some an observation. Wonder is something with questions. So in your notebook, and sorry, they don't give us any bigger images of it. <laughs> so on page three, and I'm going to put this up because Aaliyah doesn't have her own copy of this. Wow, my Elmo was crooked. It was. Urgh, wrong way. Wow, it just gets more crooked. Oh my goodness. Wrong way. Okay. So, Aaliyah, try to make this on your page real quick. I notice I wonder. So guys, you're gonna try to come up with three things you notice and three wonders, okay? So you might wanna go ahead and number your page, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back in. One thing I do love about this curricula is that it mixes art with science. Okay, give me three things you notice about this. Pay attention to the details on that windmill. Uh, not not saying them out loud yet. Write down what you notice. Okay. I'm gonna be making my notice a wonder card. Okay? I'm gonna make them straight. There's so much to do to pose it, you can't do if you can't share items, but today at least. My family made fun of me because I had to have models. I had to have different people make the models. So on Thanksgiving Day, everybody in my family had to make the model. I'll show you what I mean. So my son made a model, my daughter in law made a model, my husband made a model, Colby made a model, and I made a model. He is the only one that got out of making a model because he was the only one left. Oh, and he made flashy well, and made one too. Colby is the one that didn't make one. Colby was Colby. But Mila managed to take a part of the model and pull it from the pack. And thanks for not stabbing Colby. Good. Yeah, she tried. Oh, oh. Trying to get out of the middle of the swallow, but she did a lot of it. Made some last year. Uh, Oh, that's pretty much. 
Yes, you do three, three notices and three wonders. about one more minute to finish up your three notices and wonders then we're going to go over questions and observations together okay and we're going to make a class notice and wonder chart two friends that are virtual um right now students have a few more seconds to come up with three notices and three wonders to fill in their page three and then i'm going to come up with a class notice of wonder chart all right someone help me out and give me one of their notices someone tell me a notice uh melanie you can tell that it's moving on both images. Does anybody else have that for their notice? No? Okay, so I have one person that says it looks like they're moving, another person says it looks like they're spinning. Okay, so look. See these little arms? Did anybody put a notice on that? Yeah. Look. The little arms here. Uh, what does that make like it look like they're moving or does that make it look like they're still? Still? No. Well, do you think that could be just a momentary snapshot, so to speak? It makes it look yeah. like they're still, but they're actually moving. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would have said so, but it was all. So, could we write on your notice? You're not sure. Yes, the windmills. Windmill blades. Blades. Yeah, because those are blades. Are moving or still? Would that be on wonder? Um, it could be, or you could put it under notice. Either one. Do you want us to put that? 
if you want to. It's up to you. I'll have one for wonder. I, go for it. I wonder if those are the ones that you want to make the ones. I wonder if those. It's a very good one. You use the wind for different uses. That was me, Logan. Is that what you meant? Okay. Great question. Oh. Can I tell you how it is? Wonder, uh huh, report. Why, why do they both have this like the same structure? Why do they both what? They have that kind of structure. Like, they both are big, but at the same time, they're like big. That's it. They're like, it could be the same windmill, but at a different Observation about water is very much relevant. Y'all. Why is like one side has something on top and the other one has something on top? I don't know. Why do the blades have these? Oh, maybe to make mesh, I guess you call it. Okay. So you want me to write that on a wonder? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like that one Why? Each blade. What do you want to call those? The lattices? Uh, what do you uh, those wood oh, lattices? Uh, arm. Well, I would call these the arms. Yeah. But this would be like a wood lattice. Oh, I want to call it a fence. I'll call it a fence. Yeah, that's what a fence looks like. 
on it but in different places because as Kayla pointed out this blade has it on top this blade has it on bottom it's probably to make it weighted differently but this one looks like it's on bottom this one looks like it's on bottom this one looks like it's on top this one looks like it's twisted the way it's painted yeah that's weird so, and the other I know on that this side it looks like it's a little I have three of each already. What is it, Maggie? Is it okay that I have three of each already? Yes, I'm going to uh, take a picture of this and bring it over and show you guys on uh, my phone, okay? Okay. Besides the color of the picture, and there, recorded, our three. Actually, we're going to get there. And there are trees in both paintings. Georgia. I don't know, but I think the rest of the paintings. Yes, it is. All right. She asked about the clouds. See how the clouds are in that first picture? Yeah. Does the clouds give an indication that the sky is moving? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The clouds. It should mean that the windmill is turning. In picture 
Okay, let's see if this shows up. And of course, the yellow is not the rest of them. Oh, one of the yellows is. Okay, so the class created notice and wonder chart. Oh, holy moly, it is showing up. Oh, wow. It looks beautiful. It did show up. Notice, not sure if the windmill blades are moving or not. They're both, they both. Wow, great grammar. I guess Joe Kendi gets heard my grammar rules too. They both lighthouses. I need to put in an RE. They're both on the water. I just killed my grammar up there. Okay, I gotta go fix that. Oh, they both on the water. house they both are on the water um i see arms that hold up the blades the sky has different colors in each picture and there are trees in both paintings the clouds in picture one indicate the wind is probably blowing wonders i wonder if both windmills use the wind for different uses why do they both have the same structure is it the same structure yes how are they constructed oh. why does each blade have wood lattice on it but in different places and why did mondrian create the paintings okay in this lesson we're going to explore the phenomenon question how do windmills harness the wind Okay. So we're going to look at photographs and a video from inside a real windmill. Here are two photos from the inside of a windmill. So we just looked at photos from the outside of a windmill. That's the inside. What does that remind you of? A lighthouse. Big Ben. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what else does that remind you of, guys? What do you turn? What is that making you think of? What? Gears? Gears. Oh, and well, gears well. are part of what? Gears are part of what, guys? Uh, you guys never pay, play with gears as a kid? Yes. 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 No. Yes. What are gears part of, Hunter? <gasps> Tractors, cars. Motors? Engines? Almost everything. Yeah. 
Everybody pull up your sleeves. Everybody in here is wearing long sleeves, so I can't tell. It's cold. Nobody in here is wearing watches. Oh, yeah. You are oh, tired. Oh, like those. Oh, what? I just heard it. Clocks have something like that inside of them. Clocks, guys. Clocks. When you open them, they're like gears and stuff. Gears, clock, watches, cars, tractors. As Megan said over here, y'all couldn't hear her as well, but lots of things have gears. But the first thing that should come to mind is a clock. If you counted those little gears, there's a really good chance you're probably looking at between 40 and 60 of those little pegs. Yeah, you see the thing, the circle that you put on your That's a big beat. And then there's that. Is that, an, is that a gear? Those are gears. That's a big gear. Okay. Right. How do you think these windmills work? Maybe something. They turn possible hydropower. Because there is water. Because the yeah. gear don't do nothing. What do you notice right here? What do you see right there? What? Electricity. Look right there. Look right above my finger. Not a powder or what else could that be? It's it's dust. What kind of dust can you imagine being related to sawdust? Not sawdust, but wood dust? not wood dust. Not sawdust. Okay, think about what you just saw with the windmill. I don't know a lot of dust. Oh, uh, Kimber. What? Not cement dust. They would not use that Maybe in the 1800s to make cement dust. What would they be using in the 1800s? Sand. They weren't using it to make bricks. Okay. It was commonly used in the 17 and 1800s to make this product. I really don't know a lot of dust. Dust. That's bunnies. Guys, quiet. Megan, do you have any idea? No. What is light in color? Sound? These used to be next to water, streams, rivers. Oh, what the thing is that knock me upside the head, maybe I'll get it. I don't know. I know what you're talking about, but it's not the rain. Not clay. It was not used to make bricks. <gasps> um, water. Not used to make bricks. Oh, the clay used to make bricks. Oh, the oh. Do you eat bricks? No. Rocks. 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 Colin. Do you eat bricks? No. All right. Look. This is crushed up wheat. That's oh. flour. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> they used it to grind up flour. That would have taken us 10 years to figure it out. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> okay. So that's a white wheel rolling over flour or over um, wheat. To make flour. Isn't that, is that how the windmill moves? It would move, yes. These gears would make that turn. Okay. They wanted flour to eat to make their products. Okay. Let me get to the video. Correct. It hasn't done that since our module 
sorry. Okay, guys, I would like to get to the video, but I need you to stop talking. Yes, ma'am. I'm not sure. I forgot to look it up. I was busy doing my training. We teachers, well, actually, everybody on campus has to take 12 hours of training that's required. And I did one more hour last night. So I'm three hours in, four hours. I don't know, a bunch more to go. Hopefully, I'll do another hour tonight. Seriously? Seriously. Um, eventually, but it would take a while. Okay, this is not cool. Really? PhD. Really? Let me try phone. Yeah, that's gonna make me mad if my phone works and this one doesn't. Really? The entire PhD site is down. Great. Class, class. Please stop talking. Bryson, I'd rather not give you your test right this moment, okay? Holy moly. Uh, they need something to get them turning. Sorry, my virtual friends. The link it's okay. Me, the link they gave me is dead, so I'm having to try other routes. Wow.
come on. Is the internet not working or what? Did you grow two inches smaller over Thanksgiving? Your mama put Miracle Grow in your food. Wow. Yeah, no. No. Yeah, at least we're out of doing that, man. PhD science. Okay. I'm going to go back through PhD and see if the links are alive in there because clearly they're not alive straight through book. Seriously. Uh, uh, right. Can anyone in here <laughs> Logan, you're awesome. Ah. Yeah, my own teenager's been telling me lately, uh, Mom, what you do is above what I do, so good luck. When your 14-year-old tells you that, you're out of luck. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Apparently, PhD is experiencing problems because I can't even get into the stuff and it's telling me job openings. That's not what I want to know. I just wanted to get into my teacher resource pack. Job openings. That's not what I need. <laughs> I got a job. I'm trying to make this job work. <laughs> Please make the stuff work. How long you like to last? Three years? Yeah, I think that's it. This is good. No. PhD is not working right. Clearly. Uh. Wow. Your internet might be slow when your PowerPoint is trying to download says zero percent downloaded. Oh, my golly. That's exactly what I think of it, uh, Logan. Is this really how slow it goes? Because, wow. Okay, Mickey. Wow. All right, I think we're all there. Jackson and Megan, can you see a PowerPoint right now with my cursor moving around it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, because I'm about ready to throw the computer. I just break the computer. Oh, wow. Is it going to work? That's my question. Could it work? Don't ask me if we're not. Seriously? Today. Good. Looking for me. You serious? It's not working. It just shut down the entire PowerPoint. Guys, please stop talking. I'm about to lose my mind up in here. <laughs>
No truer words said, sir. No truer words said. Uh, okay. Yeah, not happening. Not happening. That's about as likely as giving me like Dr. Pepper. No. Class, class. Hush. Seriously. Ah. Smart, look up. Yes, look it up. Yeah, no kidding. Looky here. No truer word said. Sorry, something went wrong. Yeah, no joke. Uh. Yep, that. Does your goat scream? He attacks. Okay. Um So we're going to have to skip the part with the video even though the video is pretty integral to the to the lesson. Let's see if I can get it this way. Currency. All right, I'm gonna try it one more time, guys. Mickey. Wow. Let's see if I can get it to work this way. Oh. Please let it work this way. Please. Please let it work this way. You say SWAD? That is so helpful to us. Are you suggesting for the other classes? Yes. Okay, so what you are supposed to see is that let me stop this share because this share is getting us nowhere fast. Oh my god. Uh-huh. I said it died. 
All right, so what you are supposed to see is that when the bean turns, each one of those little knobs you see would get caught and it would cause that big white round wheel to turn and that would crush that powder smaller and smaller. To make it have? Smaller powder. Yeah. Okay. Because if you've ever tried to chew um, big pieces of flour, it, it's pretty hard on your teeth. Um, your teeth will get worn down trying to chew you, up big pieces of flour. Oh, Don't you eat bread? Mm -hmm. Don't you eat cakes? Yes. What do we eat? What about flour? Brownie? Same thing. All of it's flour. What do we eat? Raw. Don't you Cereal. Flour All that. Yes, flowers is ubiquitous. It's everywhere. Okay. So, what do you think causes this wheel to move? A big lever. Gears. The, what do you think causes those gears to move? Wind. No. Wind. I think that's a very good idea. Very good in a synthetic. So the wind will spin what? What do we look at on the outside? The, the, that fan, right? The fan. It the makes those blades move, right? What is that actual called? And then this right here. Looks like something that makes flowers. That thing. It. Yeah, I don't know what the hell. This thing right here. Do you uh, think this could be attached to those arms we saw outside? Right where? Yes. Okay. It doesn't show. It doesn't, yeah. does it? That's weird. Okay, so the beam that we see right here, the square looking beam, is probably attached to the arms that we saw outside the windmill. And so yeah, I'm not supposed to give away a lot of secrets. Oh, really? Really. And so the wind makes the blades move, and those cause those arms that are attached to move, and that's attached to that wheel on the inside, right? And that bone at the very top. Yes. The, the Correct. And that makes that turn and that crushes that stuff underneath that big white wheel, doesn't it? Okay. So it says something about the fan must connect to the wheels. Maybe that's what the sticks, what they call the sticks, those arms underneath there and the paintings do. How do you think a strong wind could affect the windmill? It could break it by going there. It could make a lot of wind. The strong wind could have could do what? It could break I don't think it would break it, but the strong wind would do what? It could damage. I don't think it would damage anything because I think it would be harnessing it and doing what? The strong wind would do what, guys? Make it turn. It would make it turn and do what? Make flour. It would what? It would make flour. The strong wind would make that whole thing turn real well, right? Yes. And it would make flour. It would probably go really, really fast. Okay. How would a weak wind affect the windmill? It wouldn't make any flour. It wouldn't make any flour. So it wouldn't grind the flour, would it? Or it would spin really what? Slowly. So it might grind flour, but it might just grind it really, really slowly. Not very effectively. All right. So, not the most expensive setup here, but at least you get to make your own. Yay! I'm going to pass out these. You're designing windmills 
of your own. Each person's going to get a pencil, a thumbtack, and a paper plate. Yeah, don't stab yourself. I knew it was I need you not talking. I need you not playing. I'm not responsible if you hurt yourself. Do not hurt yourself. Do not hurt another person. You are responsible for yourself. I'm going to show you examples of what my family and I came up with. You don't get a second plate because remember, I have three classes that I teach. I get the point. Okay. Failures are part of learning. Science has more failures than it has successes. That's reality. If you fail, you can get closer to the truth. Correct. Yes. Okay, that's all I need. So if, if you push it through all the way, it will go through both sides of the eraser. Oh, the eraser. You're going to need scissors, and I'm not passing that out just yet. I want you to have time to think about it. Oh, I have. No, we're not blowing it. Remember, I have a fan. We're not blowing all in my room. Do we get the people? Okay. 
Question. Yeah, how do you keep on stuck in a place? Let me take this over there to my virtual friends. What is it, Megan? Hold on, Logan. What is it, Megan? Did you say the reflection question for your lesson? I haven't. Let me get this off this chair and get it where you can see this. Um. I don't know why it's being like that. Share. Ugh, it's going to take twice. Share. Um. All right, I need all this talking in here stopped. Why is it not showing up? Oh, lucky me. Okay, now Megan is, I'm having another technical difficulty. I've got to shut down Elmo and restart Elmo because, you know, everything today is being weird. No, it's being awesome. Yep. Image mate. Okay, here we go. Share screen. Live image, share. Okay, Megan, can you see now a pinwheel? Yes, ma'am. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is what we're building in class today. They are pinwheels. This is actually Adrian's pinwheel. I don't know why for my class. Ugh. Boy, I am having technical difficulties all over the place today. All the problems that could happen today probably happen. Yeah, don't say that. All right, so this is Adrian's design. Megan, I gotta show you this here now because in my class on my screen, my kids are seeing something different because my computer is hating me. All right, so guys, look, this one. Yeah, it works pretty well. I have to get my fan out in a minute. Um, I'll show you in a minute. Okay. So, Adrian's works pretty darn well. Adrian actually made two or three because military overachiever, if anything. 
Military officer, he's very much an overachiever. I need the fans to make it work. Okay. All right. This one was mine. I planned it out. You guys, you can draw on the back of yours to make it to plan it. This one spins too. It's the way it's weighted. The reason it's weighted is because it has little bits of bent on each one of these corners. Okay. This one was Ian's. It would work better if these hadn't been caught in my bag for transport, but they're caught. But he got rid of his aerodynamics by cutting in the face. It's got to be funny. This is my daughter-in-law's. It's supposed to look like a lily. It too would be better if it hadn't been messed up in my bag for transport. It looks beautiful. And it actually works really well. Not anymore. Not anymore since it got messed up in my bag for transport. But it, it did work well. Wait, just transport. Got messed up. transport. What are you transporting by? Her car. Uh, it had to go in my lunch bag along with my eight pounds meal oh, and my oh, drink. I'm having a good lunch today. So it transported by a little transported by a car. Oh, so, yeah, to me, it made hers artistic and it works. My husband's, that's a great. He said, well, they had to have one that totally did not work. I'm like, yeah, thank you for that. Okay. So, let me get you guys super. Yeah, this is great. All right, I need the talking stop. If you need scissors, Yes, it started. We only have six minutes until the break. Please stop the talking, okay? No, we only have six minutes until enrichment. I need the talking stop. Okay, there is the question, Megan and Jackson, if it'll come in. What could you do if you harness the wind? So I need you to copy that in your notebook and then answer the question, okay? What could you do if you harness the wind? Copy that question in your notebook and then answer it. I don't know why I hear talking in my classroom.
Now, did any of my students get pulled on Mondays for RTI or anything? Anybody go to Discoveries or get pulled by Ms. Doty for anything? No, you go to Discoveries on Tuesday. So nobody gets pulled on Mondays? No, ma'am, no. Okay. Um, how do you make it? Okay, so good question. So after you make your paper plate windmill, you're going to stick your, guys look, everybody's attention this way real quick. After you make your paper plate windmill, you take your pin, you stick it through the middle, okay? So the, the pin, like the sticky part, goes through the back. Then you're gonna stick it through the side of the eraser. You don't wanna stick it quite all the way through the eraser because if you do, the pokey part's gonna come through the other side of the eraser because the eraser isn't quite thick enough to take the whole pin. The pin's just a little bit too long for it, okay? When we come back, we'll test them out with my little fan. Yeah, do not lose your pins, guys. I don't need them on the floor. I don't need talking either. We have two more minutes. Right, and please look at your seats for a pin. Hey, she's just in her.